Hi, welcome to this week's Encouraging Word. I'm Pastor Kathy Ellison with Church of Four Seasons. On Sunday, I tried to get across that each one of us is um, facing our own personal battles in life. Each one of us is important, and each one of us has faced things that nobody knows we have faced. And I would, I would like for each one of us to be able to see inside one another the true person why we are the way we are what we've dealt with the baggage that we carry and that's not something that is laid out there all you can see is the outside of a person and i don't know where we got to where we thought we can judge others but i don't think we can do that only jesus can judge us i um like i said last week a week ago i did a funeral for um a 35 year old who um, passed away from an overdose and there was a letter that was found and it wasn't written by him we don't know who the letter was written by but I said during my sermon on Sunday that I would share this letter with you and I wish that each one of us could just write down write a letter and be able to hand it to one another and say this is me Hand that letter and say, this is who I am. This is what I'm struggling with. And what I would ask you, what would your letter say? What do you want people to know? What do you, pe what do you want people to see in you that's important to you instead of judging the outside of a person? Now, this person here, obviously, in this letter is dealing with um, drug addiction. But each one of us deals with something different. Each one of us has baggage that we carry, and I wish we could see that in one another to understand one another better and not judge each other. So here are these words from this letter. It's called The Sad Stigma, and this is very heartfelt. It said, I didn't come out of the womb an evil person. I supposedly came out of the womb a beautiful baby boy who helplessly had a few wires crossed. Therefore, when I used drugs for the first time, it sent something off in my brain that was beyond my control. And it isn't a question of willpower, and it's not about how strong you are. I've been fighting a losing game since the first time I got high. Throughout this battle, I've lost countless jobs, an incredible girlfriend, and the affection and respect of my family. Yet still, sitting here, right now, putting this pen to paper, I want to get high. That is a disease of addiction, and it is a degenerative disease. It is incurable, and it is deadly. No different than cancer, and I've got it? Why? Maybe luck, but mostly a combination of genetics and your environment. Honestly, the hardest part about having the disease of addiction is that no one sees it as a disease. They think I'm selfish. They think I'm weak. They think I'm cruel. They say, why should I give a care about him if he doesn't care about himself or anybody else for that matter? Why does he deserve my time, my patience, or my sympathy? If he wants to kill himself, let him kill himself. Luckily, I'm not the only person on this planet who has this disease. Some people do understand that underneath this, this messed up shell, there might be a good person with a good heart. I just wish more people would open their minds instead of closing their eyes. So I pray that as we go about our lives, that we see each person as a person, not just look at them on the outside. Why don't we take the time to really get to know one another? What would you share with me? What can I share with you so that we can understand each other better, that we can end up loving each other instead of spreading hate around the world like it's so prevalent right now jesus knew everything about us inside and out he had that ability and that's why he went to the cross and that's why he died for us and this is the biggest gift we could ever ever receive 
So as we go through the season of Lent, I'm asking you to step out of your comfort zone. Get to know someone else on a deeper level. Show someone that you love them. Amongst all their pain and all their sorrow and all that they are going through, through break through that baggage and let them know that they are loved. Or maybe you're the one that needs to know that you are loved. Call me. Call someone that belongs with the church and we'd be happy to sit with you. Until next time, to God be the glory. Amen.